in 2024, four years, almost four exact years after his unceremonious ban, a, a former Twitch person by the name of Cody Connors came out yesterday at 5.24 p.m. Pacific and tweeted these words, the, these words out where he said he got banned because got caught sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. Case closed gang. No one made the wrong decision. Fuck him and his boys. Now, this is an interesting statement because Twitch has banned a lot of people. Okay. Four years after the fact, is he talking about Dr. Disrespect? Is he not? Everyone immediately was like, oh, he's talking about Dr. Disrespect. He's, of course, talking about Dr. Disrespect. What the fuck else could he be talking about? But it is rather odd, at least in my assessment, that he did not actually personally um, mention. We didn't, uh, he didn't personally mention him by name, possibly to shelter him from litigation. Okay? It was a subtweet. But a subtweet blew up nonetheless, and everyone obviously uh, thought correctly that he was talking about Dr. Disrespect for a probably plausible deniability, but no one had done this before, okay? And that's interesting. It's very interesting. And since then, all hell has broken loose. Obviously, in the immediate aftermath of this revelation, there were a bunch of prominent prominent uh, uh, video game reporters and journalists from many different walks of life and many different outlets that came out and basically confirmed this suspicion that it was Dr. Disrespect, that they had also heard and ex-Twitch employees and, and many other journalists that had like talked to ex-Twitch employees who were Twitch employees at the time, including... Zachary Diaz, who now works with OTK, who used to be at, um, who used to be at Twitch at the time. He's a great dude. Anyway, he, he was one of the people that, uh, said, so glad it's finally out there. Okay. Nathan Grayson had some choice words. Uh, this was, and Nathan Grayson is, uh, of course, formerly at Washington Post, formerly at Kotaku where he said, without revealing anything else in order to protect sources, I can say that this is not the first time I have heard basically this explanation, nor, oh, Zach is no longer working with OTK. Okay, well, he used to work at OTK. I, I didn't know he stopped working at OTK. Regardless, without revealing anything else in order to protect sources, I cannot say that this is not, I can say that this is not the first time I've heard basically this explanation, nor is it the second or third. A caveat, all of the sources I spoke to were secondhand. They were not in the room when it happened, nor could they provide documentation. In other words, this is not confirmation. Until somebody who actually pulled the trigger either comes forward or talks to a reporter, we will not necessarily have the full or true story. Okay? So even, uh, you know, the, 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 the uh, journalists who are talking about this were also are, are still relatively um, relatively careful in the way that they're covering it. But if you were confused as to what whether this was Dr. Disrespect or not, he responded. Where's the Jake Sucky tweet? Does anyone have it? Let's go there. So Jake Sucky also tweeted about this. A former Twitch employee has come forward. Oh, a former Twitch employee has come forward and stated that the alleged reason for Dr. Disrespect's permanent Twitch ban be, uh, being for sexting a minor in the previous Twitch Whispers product. Dr. Disrespect then responded to Jake Sucky and said, Jake, seriously, dot, 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 I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract, which is an insane thing to respond to because the, the response, like, and the words that he is choosing here in a normal circumstance would not be those words in a normal circumstance. You would not hit the fucking Drake line. Like, if I was fucking young girls, I promise I've been in arrest. I I'd promise I've I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you suggested. Drake ain't no name you're gonna see on no sex offender list. Like, that's a crazy ass bar to reply to Jake Sucky with. 
okay? Because <clears throat> it is true that Twitch and Dr. Disrespect's team went into litigation. And as far as we understand, they settled. And yeah, by the way, Cody's not just a former employee. He was an account director, uh, an account director of strategic partnerships. So he was pretty high up from 2018 to June, 2023. Okay. And before that, he was the partnerships manager for esports development. Why are you acting stupid though? I don't get it. You're telling me you really don't understand why he can't say anything at all. Like what? You ain't this stupid. If, if I was dog, I would sue every single person that commented negatively for de deformation. Deformation. Are you dumb? He can't say anything well. Why are you being so facetious? Facetious? Is that what you're trying to say? Deformation? The doctor disrespect defenders have joined. So in a situation like this, in a situation like this, if you know, if there's no like misconduct, alleged uh, misconduct that actually took place, you don't just say, oh, we settled. The topic has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged. You say, the fuck are you talking about? Of course I didn't text minors on the fucking Twitch Whispers app. That is an insane allegation to make. What do you mean? If someone turns around and calls you a pedophile, you go, the fuck do you mean a pedophile? Get the fuck out of here. You don't just say, the topic has been settled. <laughs> no wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole contract because the conversation isn't about the contract or the settlement. The conversation is about the, the alleged misconduct. <sighs> Dr. Disrespect also came out earlier this morning at 11 a.m. Pacific time and tweeted this. Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoings was found. And I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. <laughs> it's wanted promoting his own subathon underneath it. So him getting paid uh, the remainder of his contract by Twitch is ultimately meaningless. Why is it ultimately meaningless? Because even if there was legitimate wrongdoing and Twitch passed it off to like the agencies or authorities or whatever, you could still, with an expert legal team, claw back those dollars that you signed on contract. Okay? If you have good enough lawyers, you can still get fucking paid out. And it's a win-win, I guess, technically, for both parties to not talk about the matter any further. Why? Because from a purely corporate standpoint, I suspect that Twitch doesn't want to have a conversation about how, like, especially, especially while, this, uh, the, the, while they had, had gone on a banning spree of so many uh, content creators on their platform, dozens of content creators getting banned for sexual misconduct. Okay. Obviously, um, it's, it's probably better to just like, you know, brush that aside, give it off to the proper authorities, especially considering the, the allegations involving a minor potentially, if that is true, then in that circumstance, like you have to report it to the uh, proper authorities and then you can't really say too much about it because, like I mentioned, it becomes incredibly complicated to cover this issue. Even as a journalist, it becomes incredibly complicated to cover this issue because you have to protect the victims, okay? You have to protect the victims. What is this? Exactly what you're saying? If I'm sexually attracted to kids, I'm not. <laughs> That's how long you should wait to answer that question. You don't mull it over for a bit. You certainly don't eyeball your lawyer. I wonder how he wants me to answer this one. You come out swinging in a hurry or you deserve to burn in hell. Ask me. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a joke, but it is kind of true. You just go, what the fuck are you guys talking about? This shit sucks. Okay. If you just want the section of the one essay about publishing rumors, read the two tweets here. So, yeah. Journalists have only ever known a rumor. They want to know the truth. It's a huge scoop and it's a public service. But the reason this came out via vague post is that no journalist has really been able to confirm it, not for a lack of trying. The truth is that 
in as much as it may seem that the story is advanced, we're really still on square one. There's a reason what we think we know came in the form of a vague post. Every journalist wants to be the first one to nail this story, if it is true. But not a single one has gathered the requisite sourcing to make it happen. You also could potentially have sources that don't want to come out in public either. Like sources that might not want to come out due to potential litigation due to the fact that they might lose their jobs. What does that mean? For a story like this, they feel airtight a journalist would want to talk to multiple sources with direct insight into what happened when Beam was banned. It's likely, however, that the group that made Twitch's decision regarding Beam was small and tight-knit. People in those positions often don't see any upside in speaking with the press and indeed fear the risks, professional blowback, legal issues, etc. that might come with revealing internal secrets. Exactly. Twitch moderation in all of my years, okay, in all of my years, I've had incredibly limited interaction, okay, incredibly limited, like not any interaction whatsoever. Twitch moderation is very famously airtight, kept basically as a separate entity almost, okay, internally speaking. They do take it very seriously, they do, Twitch does take its moderation pretty fucking seriously. That's why a lot of people will talk about like, oh, they're banning this, they're banning that. Sometimes it's in, inconsistent. That is true. But you have to understand, it is one of the platforms, and I stand on this, and I, it's part of the reason why I, you know, have defended Twitch in the past as well, and have been very critical, and have been on the receiving end of the ban hammer more times than your favorite content creators. You have to remember that. I've been banned more times than most of these fucking content creators out there, okay? Having said that, I still will always defend Twitch moderation and how seriously they take that shit, okay? In 2020, however, Breslau's tweet became a minor meme in the universe of people who might care about Dr. Disrespect and among those who sought an opportunity to get a jab in at Breslau, who can be prickly and acerbic online. That's so funny, Rod. <laughs> you can be prickly and acerbic online. Not all my conversations with Breslau has been on good terms. Breslau, who had previously been a prolific leaker, had come across a story he couldn't seem to crack. The public wouldn't let him forget it. Breslau briefly withdrew from social media in 2022. He told me that the credible sources post still weighed on him. I cannot continue my professional career until I release a story about Doc, Breslau wrote in a message to me. He described himself as experiencing something like executive dysfunction. I'm pretty bad at making decisions to begin with, and now I've just kind of stopped everything in part because of this. Yeah, the, when the world needed him the most, he vanished, okay? This might have played a role in his vanishing, according to his own words. Now, Rod did have a take yesterday at 6.13 p.m. He tweeted out, I didn't lie, alongside many of the other journalists who were also <sighs> confirming that they had also talked to sources, some of which did not want to come forward and were fearful of litigation. TJ Wheat, who was also very high up at Twitch at the time, literally one of the founders of the platform, said, respect. Now, having said that, you got to weigh the two options here. Is Dr. Disrespect the most persecuted content creator on the planet because ultimately if all of this is built around a complete falsehood then this is unimaginable cruelty these aren't light allegations these are pretty heavy ones okay is he the most unjustly persecuted content creator on the planet or did he actually do some shit to the extent of what kind of fuck shit he engaged in, we do not know. There is not enough evidence at the time beyond a vague post. On June 26, 2020, the Dr. Disrespect Twitch account was banned from Twitch. Twitch's official statement on the ban said, As is our process, we take appropriate action when we have evidence that a streamer has acted in violation of our community guidelines or terms of service. These apply to all streamers regardless of status or prominence in the community. On the same day, Discord also removed Dr. Disrespect from their partnership program, citing violations of its code of conduct. Neither site released specifics for their punishments. 
On June 27, Dr. Disrespect tweeted that he had not yet been informed on the exact reason for the ban. On July 16, 20 days after he was banned, he broke his silence and was interviewed by PC Gamer and the Washington Post, insisting that he still does not know why Twitch banned him from the platform, that his contracts were still in good standing, debunks any crazy speculation or theory that developed and is focusing on his upcoming Dog 3.0 personality. My favorite part is how a random Redditor posted exactly what happened like a month after he was banned and then that Redditor got banned, not sure if related, just funny. Yeah, I'll repost the info I found when it first happened. I found out more info since then, and Doc got dropped because he had sex with a girl at an event who was underage at the time she reported him and provided Discord logs to prove where he said it wasn't a problem that she was underage. I know you don't believe this, but when it eventually comes out, I'll expect you'll remember this comment. Now, I don't know uh, if this is... I don't know if he did that, because if he did that, then he's going to jail, okay? If, if uh, he had sex with a minor, I don't think that he did that. If he had sex with a minor, he's going to fucking jail. Come on. This ain't a Josh Giddy style situation, okay? If he had sex with a minor, knew that uh, this person was a minor, and is not in fucking Oklahoma, he's, he's going to jail, you know what I mean? This ain't an NBA investigated itself and found no wrongdoing type situation, okay? It is kind of wild, though, that this person fucking posted this and then got banned. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, he's, getting, he's not getting banned from Twitch. He's getting banned from breathing the free man's air, okay? That's not how that works. To be fair, it's very hard to prosecute sex crimes. You can have mountains of evidence and the police just won't do shit. Still. Um, if she decides to bag out, no, he's not. Happens way too often is how it works. Fair. So, so, anyway, this is the story. This is what we know so far, but the story doesn't end there. Now, Dr. Dispec came out and said this, which is, in my opinion, legalese for the most part. It's like very... It seems a lot like it seems a lot like a person doing like a PR style uh, tweet. Now, of course, it doesn't end there. Dr. Disrespect has a lot of friends, right? Some of those friends also happen to no longer be big fans of mine personally. But where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, even Keemstar, by the way, responded to this, which I thought was pretty funny. Bro, why won't you say, I was not talking to a minor trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon, like, what was alleged? He literally just said that. He literally did not say that. When you lost motherfucking Keemstar, it's just like, when Keemstar is the one that's looking reasonable, it's, it's Jover. Bro, when fucking Keemstar is looking like the reasonable one in the room, you know we are truly living in the end times. <laughs> you lost killer Keemstar. Anyway, but at least he did not lose. Where is it? I, I know a lot of people. There's a lot of memes on here. Uh, at least he did not lose Nick Merckx. Here's FaZe Nick Merckx. Yo, yo. Checking in. Uh, look, I opened Twitter. Bunch of... My mentions are he, they, she, she, hey, they... Fucking... I, I identify as a helicopter. God damn it. Uh, and I seen, I seen the, the couple tweets about the doc. I, I'm... I'm as taken back as a lot of you guys are, okay? But the fact remains that these are some crazy accusations. Crazy. Big time accusations. And until we know more, until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, what are we talking about? What's anybody talking about? Now, as far as the leave little kids alone stuff, this doesn't make it any further from the truth. Leave little children out of your shit. Have a nice day. <laughs> Oh my God. I mean, that's like, I like that. I like that. It's just, uh, you know, it, it's always just like right wing commentary at that point. I don't know how this happens so fucking frequently, but, uh, you know, maybe, maybe at the end he's saying like, stay away from the little ones to, to his friend. I don't know, but, uh, I pray for everybody. I pray for everybody involved. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so he said that, uh, Obviously, everybody is like, uh, you know, everybody's going crazy with the memes. There is one thing I wanted to mention, though, because, like, if you recall, Nick Merckx is a significant figure in this because he, um, he was doing the leave the kids alone, leave them little kids alone shit, and, like, coming out as, like, a, like a out-and-about right-winger, right? He was doing that shit, 
uh, last Pride, actually, one year ago, exactly one year ago. And when he was doing that shit, uh, Nick Burks was, Dr. Disrespect defended him. And I made a very classic joke that everyone has made a million times over. I said, I said, Dr. Disrespect is more faithful to his friend, Nick, than his own wife which pissed off a lot of people, including Nick, who famously uh, unfollowed me and said, bro, that's, I can't believe you said that on his anniversary, which I thought was crazy, because, like, how the fuck am I supposed to know it was Dr. Disrespect's anniversary? Anyway, here was Dr. Disrespect's response. <laughs> I got, I got, no, my favorite content creator is Hassan. <laughs> Even though he's fat and he's got weird looking structure of shoulders and he's unathletic. <laughs> but he's really fat. <laughs> he's my favorite content creator. <laughs> I got nothing going on. I got, I'm so depressed. I got a chip on my shoulder. I, <laughs> I'm critical of everything except myself. I, <laughs> I got he, him in my bio I, and I know I still got... I still got I, I, <laughs> Once again, I was right, but too early. I mean, yeah, I see why his impression is popular. I see why he's popular. Impression was spot on. Well, he's impersonating you. Okay. He's impersonating you, a Hasanabi head, a Hasanabi <laughs> fan. Okay. Anyway, um, I was thinking about just like posting this. What do we think? As a quote tweet to this, you look like you have a diaper on. I don't care. You look a bit chub in that pic. Not going to lie. <laughs> okay, bro. He had the change. He had the change from the slick daddy club to champions club after cheating on his wife. Not so slick move. And now he will have to change it once again to the adult lovers club. Dr. Disrespecting kids. There you go. Posted that shit. Dr. Kid inspect. Yeah. <sighs> Press F to hold. Press and hold F to become the predator. There you go. Um, why is Keem cooking for once? This Dr. Disrespect story is absolutely infuriating. All right. Uh, an ex-Twitch employee comes out and says that Dr. Disrespect was whispering to a minor and making plans to meet up with that minor at TwitchCon. And that's why he was banned from Twitch. And then went on to say that he's a piece of shit and his friends are a piece of shit and all that. Dr. Disrespect responds by saying, hey, look, I was found to have done nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong, all right? He comes up with another statement. I did nothing wrong. Dr. Disrespect is not responding to the allegation. The allegation is that he whispered and tried to make plans to meet up with a minor at TwitchCon. That is the allegation from the ex-Twitch employee. He's not responding to that. When he's saying, I did nothing wrong, he's referring to the settlement. He did a settlement with Twitch after suing Twitch, and Twitch countersued him, I believe, and they settled out of court agreeing with mutual statements that both parties did nothing wrong. That's a lawsuit. That doesn't represent what actually took place at all. Doc isn't responding to the actual allegation. All he's saying is, I did nothing wrong. We would have to have some type of definition from Dr. Disrespect. What What do you mean by wrong? Is, mex is messaging a minor wrong? All right? Is like, you would have to like, do you see how many layers in the legal mumbled bumbo and jumbo that's happening here? He's not responding to the actual allegation. And all these people online are like, look, Doc's innocent. See, he said he did nothing wrong. He's talking about the fucking settlement. He's talking about the goddamn settlement with Twitch. He's not actually responding. Bro, it's like wild that Keemstar is kind of on the money on this doubly wild that it's a it's like an allegation with a 40 plus year old man and their involvement with a minor which is like his fucking wheelhouse okay that's what's crazy about this what is happening right now in the fucking world like <laughs> it's crazy to what is being alleged god this is infuriating it's so infuriating. Doc, 
give a real response to the allegations. Anyway, I guess it's like his drama brain that's causing him to like want more information. He's out of line. I mean, completely out of line, but he's right. It's just wild. This video is like when former bank robbers review high saw movies for YouTube channels. Yeah, that's what I would have did. <laughs> Yo, that's great. Okay, dude. <clears throat> that's insane. M HUD. That's that's an incredible post. In the wild, predators will often fight. When, in the wild, predators will often fight when one intrudes on the other's hunting grounds. <laughs> we are here in the Serengeti. <laughs> um anyway. OJ, I don't want to go to LA because the real killer is still out there vibe. Yeah, it's great. So, <clears throat> uh, well, the wild part is that Doc's own statement states that all of this has been probed and settled, which means Twitch found something to look into, which means at least the allegations are true now. You might have to tweet Nick Merckx right now. Easiest dunk of the year. I don't care. I don't care about fucking dunking on Nick Merckx. Okay. People are doing that enough uh, online. It's, I, I'm trying to be classy. I'm trying to be classy. What do you want me to do? Tweet this at Nick Merckx? Hey, you know they got your mans. They got your mans on sex assault charges. Yeah, the nigga you be hanging with. <laughs> the nigga you be hanging with. <laughs> the Kendrick, they not like us cover about dog has already been made. Six, nine, should have stayed his ass up on a court. Now he's six, nine, finna lose it all in court. Fuck jail sentence. Ass straight to the Lord. Next dream, Chris Hansen knocking at his door. Fuck Nick Perk, she has ass weird too. Say the kids, I agree from niggas all like you. Clever that they pushing these agendas. Whole time, no ass pushing an offender. Hate these griffin ass, lying ass, bitch ass, whole ass, bitch ass, whole ass niggas. Beat your ass and hide the vibe of Clancy watching. Ah, uh, he a fan, he a fan, he a fan. He a fan, he a fan, he a fan. He a fan, he a fan, he a huh. freaky ass streamer, you a 69 doc. Freaky ass streamer, you a 69 doc. Hey, 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 stream for your life. Hey, 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 go hide that vod. Streaming ass nigga, you a freaky ass doc. Streaming ass nigga, you a 69 doc. Hey, 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 go hide them vods. Hey, 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 go hide them vods. Freaky ass streamer. Nigga six nine should have stayed his ass up on a court. Now he's six nine finna lose it all in court. Holy shit. <clears throat> That's crazy. What? Send this to Nick? No, I'm not gonna send him any. Okay, this is a banger. Doc was more worried about pronouns in the bio than age in his in the bio, I guess. Oh, that's a good one. That's actually a banger. Okay, respect. Yeah, technically, technically he's back to streaming in the toilet if <laughs> in this sort of in this setup. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the situation on hand. We still don't know. And I think this, uh, this article does a pretty good job covering the circumstances and covering like the difficulties. Um, but it is definitely not shocking to me. Um, or, I mean, I guess it's like at this point, it's no longer fucking surprising to me that, when, a, when another one of my fucking haters, like a prominent content creator who just like is is weirdly radicalized against my commentary, uh, turns around and like is is out over doing some weird ass shit. It has happened infinite. It has happened almost every single time. So I don't know at this point. Like I, I genuinely don't understand it, but virtually all my motherfucking ops, virtually all my motherfucking ops have... Uh, you know, they just have like real, real weird shit come out like this. Hassan, I mean, derangement syndrome to pedophilia pipeline is real. Yeah, it's just, I don't know what it is. Do you prefer Haas Karma or Karm Hassan? We K pop brain Hassan, I his need something to yell. Haas Karma is probably better. Um, they shot him with a gun that makes you hate Hassan and like children. Bad year for your haters so far. Yeah. Is wild how many of the ops are pedos? <laughs> okay, that. The, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they, I wouldn't say that about like, they just have weird cases like this, 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 this meme in and of itself, like some of them have weird cases. Some of them are, you know, making weird, same weird shit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they're like certified pedophiles, but my ops do have some weird freaky shit going on.
for sure. What's more, actually more concerning and sad is that this usually props them up even more by the freaks. Uh, how is Nick Marks, the defender of children, going to respond to all this? We already, uh, he already responded. He said, I need proof. I need real proof. Why is chat calling XQC a child rapist? Did he do anything bad? I don't think chat is doing that. XQC has no, like, XQC, his, his weirdo behavior was simply just, like, defending Drake. That's it. But that's because he's a kick streamer. He hasn't done anything like that. Oh, um, by the way, if you were wondering, if you were wondering, well, where is the kick deal for Doc? I mean, all of this suits the, the kick deal dynamic, okay? All of this suits the kick deal dynamic. Well, it turns out they did. They did offer him. Like I said, I mean, they, they had a gracious number. 10 mil per year, zero gambling, right? But it's just not enough. Remember when he even begged for a kid contract? Well, it's incoming now, I think. <laughs> after this, after this, Kick is probably looking at that going, we got him. <laughs> this is, we were waiting for the opportune moment. <laughs> and now we got it, okay? This is a, you are right in the fucking wheelhouse, baby. <laughs> They're going to retire his number. <laughs> oh, that's so, that's so true. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Kick is like, hey, remember that deal you rejected? We'll double it now. Now that, now that you have the, the right, now that you have all of the right, like, allegations and shit, like, this is, this is good. <laughs> this is our opportunity. Anyway, Kick is better than the FBI at luring pedophiles. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I'm wondering what kind of bag YouTube is giving him. YouTube is not giving him a bag. Famously, after he left Twitch, he just started streaming on YouTube because he had nowhere else to go. He didn't get a contract from YouTube. He probably would have loved to get a contract from YouTube, but he never got one, which also was suspicious as well, because at the time, YouTube was literally dumping the bag at uh, streamers that would move away. So, no. YouTube got him for free, and that's it. Um, that's, that's all, uh, you know, that's all there is to this story so far. But, yeah. Uh, I think uh, this article from Mikhail Klementov is is pretty good, especially like the part where it says we're still on square one. You know what I mean? Yo, the ways you're carrying in that pick you pose, it is it LBs or kilogram? No, it's LBs. It's 65 pounds. Not that heavy, but it doesn't matter. I still look good. Watch the VO tweet. Yeah, I posted it because he called me fat. And I think, you know, not so fat. <sighs> is that a diaper between your legs? No, it's a towel. Um. Anyway, no, nah, 65 pounds is not that heavy. Oh, what is this? I don't give a f I don't care. Get, I don't want, no, no, no. Keep your kids around for a little bit today. Right? Let's teach them a lesson. Get them in the room. Sit them down. Let's teach them a lesson today. What? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, bro. What the fuck? What the hell? Anyway, um, that's from yesterday, I think. Out of context, he was talking about Elden Lord. Yeah, I know, but still, it's kind of weird. Dr. Disrespect responded to these allegations by saying that he didn't do anything wrong. His statement was offered in response to the allegation that his permanent Twitch exit was a result of him sexting a minor. That claim was made by Cody Connors, a former Twitch account director of Strategic Partnerships who has been at the company over an eight-year period ending in 2023. Taking to Twitter on June 21, Connors alleged that Dr. Disrespect 2020 Twitch ban was a result of him sexting a minor via Whispers, a private messaging feature that was part of the platform at the time but has since been discontinued. The former Twitch official said that the streamer was trying to convince the said minor to meet up with him at TwitchCon 2020, which took place in late September of that year, some three months prior to the purported incident said to have prompted his permanent Twitch departure. The social media reactions to the streamer's follow-up statement are a bit of a mixed bag. While many of his fans expressed their support for him in response to the controversy, other people noted that the original allegations of Dr. Disrespect sexting a minor via Twitch whispers remained unanswered. As to why that is, the content creator's June 22nd tweet suggested that he couldn't respond to the accusation directly due to legal 
applications stemming from his settlement with Twitch. If you found this video informative, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And thanks for watching.